everyone. So today we are going to do a composite deck or step. It's a 12 by 12. Um, so a little bit different from anything I've showed on the channel. So I'll make a video of it for you guys. Let's take a look what's going on here. So we just got the old step off and loaded onto the trailer. This thing was pretty heavy. But, you know, it was just a basic step, nothing fancy. But what they want is a 12 by 12 deck. So what I did here was just cut the siding away where it's going to go so we can fasten it to the house. The other step, as you can see, they just put it right through the siding, which isn't, the, isn't really an advisable method of fastening. So... I'll get the starter off. Uh, Garrett's just marking out those boards to 12 feet exact. And yeah, and we can get going here. All right, so we're just working on the beam system here. Now I got six by sixes for this. And I just sort of fancied up the end a little bit, just went two inches down and then put a 45. Um, but yeah, I made this 10 feet in so the deck will overhang. It'll be like right in line with this sidewalk. And then there'll be another post here going to that pad. So we'll just take the measurement for it. And then I'll get some 12 inch GRKs and just fasten those together. And then, yeah, we took the level and that's uh, pretty well perfect right there. So. And after lunch, we'll get to framing the deck. All right, so we've started framing here. I brought my tripod and I totally forgot to set up a time lapse, but whatever. So for these, for composite, I like to go one foot on center for the framing, just because it's a little bit flimsier than wood. So this just gives you extra support for the extra, well, I guess like $100 in today's lumber prices that it costs you for the three extra boards, but it's about another three boards for this size to do it rather than 16 centers. But um, yeah, so I just have Garrett crowning the boards and uh, yeah, we'll nail them together and then lift this from here right, over I think there. We're past the point of all the swearing, so. So we finally got this thing up, we got it tacked, 
to the beam, which is good. And this thing is solid. It does not move at all. So I don't think we will need any angle bracing in there, which I thought we might, but we won't. And yeah, checked it for level. It's perfect. So that's always a good thing. All right, so now we're beginning on putting the boards down. And what we start out with is our starter clip. Uh, this clip system, I guess I could sort of show it off a little bit. I, have, I haven't used this particular clip before, but you know, it slips into the grooves like so, and then it's fairly straightforward. But it comes with these starter clips, so you can do your starter piece, obviously. I'll try and get that clipped in here. I'm just going to run the ends over wild and then come back and trim them all perfectly straight with the track saw. So that just slides into there like so. And then, yeah, we can start with our regular clips after this. So moving right along here, we got five pieces on already. Even Garrett got the hang of it really fast. I actually kind of like this clip system. So we're just alternating, like, you know, a clip here, a clip here, and so on. But yeah, it's going pretty good. Then I'll just track saw these ends in a perfectly straight line. And you can actually pull these screws. So when I track saw it, it'll give me a straight line and then I can move this board into that plane of that line. So that'll work out really good. piece cut and put in there fits nicely under the door threshold now we're just going to take the track saw and cut our loose ends we'll do it i don't know probably about the width of that gap see how it looks okay so next day here and i went and picked up the railing this morning uh, pretty expensive stuff almost two grand for all the railing here and it's fairly simple to put together. Um, you know, you just cut your top and bottom rails to the length you need, put your posts up, and then your uh, spindles go in. So we're just gonna work on that right now, and I'll show you how it looks. the staircase built I didn't film any of it because it was an extremely frustrating process and I probably wouldn't be teaching you a whole lot anyways but yeah next step will just be to finish it I guess do the metal on it first and then I can finish it so now working on the cladding for the stairs uh, I just broke this piece just an inch and a half lip on the bottom and I tacked it up against the side of the stairs and traced the pattern onto it. So what this indicates where the riser is, but I want to make a flap 
onto the riser. Uh, the treads don't matter because I'm going to put a uh, nosing, so I'll just cut that flat, make it simpler to fit on. And yeah, then I'll just go and hem those flaps over to the correct distance, and then that should slide right on and fit the profile of the staircase. Now there it is installed. I also put some plywood risers on there. Um, that way it brings it out to 11 and a quarter and it just gives the metal some strength because if I didn't put these on it would just be metal here and it would get you know kicked in really easily. Now this is sort of a goofy transition. I think what I'm going to do is just slide another piece under there and have it lap like that. I don't know. It's a, it's a bit of a hard one, but yeah, we'll get it figured out. So my apologies for the lack of video again, but these are the steps. Um, well, they're not finished yet. I had to do those clips, bend them down, because there's uh, no other way to do that. So next thing I'll do is put a one and a half by two inch nosing around everything. That'll trim it out nice and cover those clips. Same as up here. Um, this is what I don't like about composite decking is unless you get the stuff without the grooves, you can't have it overhang or else it'll look like this. But then if you get the stuff without grooves, how are you supposed to fasten it? Then you need an exposed fastener and it totally defeats the purpose of having these grooves and clips anyways. I mean, you could screw it from underneath, but. All right, so now today I'm working on the nosing on the stairs. And I don't know, I think it looks all right. Like if you back up, it's got shadow lines underneath. So I was sort of worried that it would be too much white, but I don't know, the shadow lines offset it. But I got this side all done. Looks not bad from the back, I mean. Not ideal. Maybe wipe these pencil marks off. But I tried to, you know, fold it around. And yeah, I'll do the other side and then the fronts and almost be finished up here except for railing. So that's the end of the uh, metal cladding. Now I just got a wet rag and a dry rag and I'm just going to go wipe the dirty tin because that was the top sheet so it got a little bit dusty. But yeah, I'll wipe anything that's dirty, and then it'll be on to the stair railing. Alright, so now just finishing off the railing. Um, the Sort of the last thing I gotta do, just before I put like the screws, the self-tappers in it, is even out these spindles, or uh, pickets as they call them. Um, so what I do there is just take a measurement to there, and a measurement there, add them together and then divide them. And that'll give me uh, what to cut that to. Then I'll cut that, knock them all over, and then the end one should be the same. Um, you can see I did it over here on this one. So the start and finish are even. So everything will look nice because you can see that looks really goofy so we don't want to do anything that looks goofy. Now that looks much cleaner with a even spacing. So one side of railing is done. Wasn't that hard, just had to figure it out. But now on to the next side. Alright, well I think that's it. Danny's just cleaning up. That railing went on all right. Um, I got all the extra screws put in so it doesn't rattle. And yeah, I'll bring the blower back and just sort of get rid of a lot of that stuff. But yeah, overall, fun project. Well, I came and ragged all the aluminum shavings off, but these are nice steps. That nosing just sort of adds a bit of tread to it. So overall, it looks pretty decent. Um, the white doesn't look too, too, too bad, but yeah, I'll just get the rest of this stuff cleaned up and 
I'll just have to come back and touch up stain that thing because that kind of sticks out. But other than 